It's that time. We are nearly at the end. Uh, I'm very happy to say that there's no more panels. Uh, we have the opportunity, though, to hear some closing remarks from our Secretary General. So with that, I'd like to thank the panelists and welcome to the stage our Secretary General, Mr. Jonathan Dixon. So that brings us to the end of uh, what I'm sure you'll all agree has been a very successful annual conference. And, uh, um, and what has been uh, quite the week uh, for many of us uh, as well. Um, it's been a jam-packed conference, both in terms of, of, of content uh, and the dialogue. So I'd really like to thank all of the moderators and the speakers on our panel for your excellent insights, uh, the great content, and the spirited uh, discussion uh, as well. So in tackling our theme for this year, uh, supervision in a digital era, uh, the one clear signal I think from all of the discussions is that change is the new reality, the new normal, um, and that supervisors must accept that change is happening and will continue to happen. Yesterday afternoon, our first panel reflected on what insurance supervisors need to focus on to ensure their readiness to deal with these changes. According to all of you in the audience, the answer is simple. Skills, capacity, and talent. And this was reiterated by our panelists today on the issues of cyber resilience, big data analytics, and digital financial inclusion. Much is expected of our global supervisory community as we strive to strike a balance between, on the one hand, facilitating innovation, and the other hand, protecting customers, ensuring fair outcomes, uh, ethical use of data, and transparent decision-making by insurers. It's not an easy balance. This will not be possible if supervisors do not have the skills or the ability to understand the complexities of the digital world or keep pace with the level of technological change impacting the market. Insurers and supervisors will continue to learn and evolve as the nature and magnitude of technology-related risks becomes uh, clearer over time. The immediate answer, therefore, as we heard now, is, not, uh, is unlikely to be in, in uh, the form of new regulations. But rather, it's about skills, capacity, and talent, getting a deeper understanding of the digital trends and innovations shaping this sector. And faced with this unprecedented scale of change uh, coming from in short techs, big techs, etc., insurance supervisors have no choice but to be agile and innovative themselves. So I was really happy that we, this year, we were able to introduce a new element in terms of the supervisory capability building sessions, like the lunch and learn uh, sessions that we had today. I suspect this is going to become more and more of a focus of the IIS going forward. So I look forward to building on the insights gathered from this conference over the next few months uh, and hope to share more on the IIS's progress in tackling these exciting topics and how we're going to build on this capability when we next meet uh, for our global seminar in Seattle in June uh, next year. Uh, I invite all of you to continue these conversations, contribute to the debate, uh, and strengthen our collaborative efforts to ensure a cohesive response that's affecting all of us. So before I close, there are many to thank. Um, the dedicated efforts and energy of many uh, contributed 
to the success of this past week. Uh, but in particular, I would like to thank His Excellency Sultan bin Saeed Al Mansouri, Minister of Economy and Chair of the Board of the UAE Insurance Authority, and His Excellency Ibrahim Obayid Al Zab, Director General uh, of the UAE, UAE Insurance Authority, for hosting us and the wonderful hospitality that we've received. But particularly also a very big thanks to the entire uh, host team at the uh, Insurance Authority for their graciousness and their hospitality. It's been truly fantastic. Thank you. Of course, I'd also like to extend a special thanks to our own uh, committed and tenacious team within the Secretariat uh, for their long hours and tremendous uh, resilience and resourcefulness in pulling together the numerous elements that make up this event. This year, with the added dimensions to our program, there's been a lot of m moving parts, and I think they really pulled it off well. So thank you, team, particularly Marika, your first annual conference, great job. Sylvie continues to be the backbone. Uh, really great work, so please a hand of a round of applause for them as well. Uh, but perhaps before closing, uh, I'd like to return to the, f the first presentation that I gave uh, at the beginning of the annual conference, where uh, Vicky and I reflected on our major milestones. Um, and to say, you know, to really reflect that these, these milestones can only be achieved with the true dedication and commitment uh, of and hard work of, of many, many, many people. Um, there are probably too many to mention uh, individually, uh, but I would like to take the opportunity to reflect on the fact that uh, these milestones were not reached in the last few weeks, the last few months, the last year. They build on, in many cases, six or seven years of work. Uh, and there are were many who are not on the stage to present them, uh, but made a huge contribution in the past. And some of them are in the audience. So I would like to call out a very big thank you to uh, Monica Meckler, for instance, former, uh, former chair of, what, uh, of one of our committees, and in some ways the mother of Comframe. Uh, and, uh, and of course, Urs Halbergsen, who's also here somewhere as well, I think. Uh, Mark Radice, who was vice chair of uh, FSTC. Not forgetting, of course, uh, Mr. Yoshi Kawai, former secretary general, who was there for a lot of the hard lifting, and, and Peter Windsor as well from the secretariat. So a round of applause for them too. And last but not least, those who were there for the final mile, although I think in some cases it was more like a marathon. Um, so our, our very able chairs of uh, uh, Elise Liebers of, the, uh, of our Policy Development Committee, Alberto Carinti of our Macro Prudential Committee, uh, Mr. Paolo Codoni, I think he is still standing somewhere in Abu Dhabi, who has been the chair of our capital and solvency working. Oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, and of course, within the secretariat, I mean, it, it really is a team effort, but I have to call out a few names because they were the people who haven't gone to bed before 3 a.m., I think, over the last week. So, Roman, Dinita, Jegorsh, Hannah, it's been, a, it's been a great effort. So, here's to you. And there were milestones. Uh, but I'm very happy to say I, I, I really cannot think of a more fitting way uh, to celebrate our 25th anniversary as a community of supervisors than the way that this week uh, we have reaffirmed uh, our commitment to unity and diversity 
and a renewed commitment to finding joint solutions in pursuit of our common goals. I think we really demonstrated that this week, and thank you to all the members. So that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, safe travels, and see you at our global seminar in Seattle next year. Thank you.